Hey, what's up, guys? So, up next, we're going to do Tom McDonald, New World Order, featuring Adam Calhoun. Let's get right on into it. Let's go. Here's the problem with America, the country is broken Cause they minds stay closed, but they mouths stay open Get attacked and we blame terrorists, go broke and we blame the price Blame racists for the racism, but only if his skin is white If we don't need guns, cause we can call the police We don't need fire extinguishers, call the firemen please You didn't want to build a wall and now the border is weak Your favorite actor has a gate that's like 15 feet Racism is gay Yeah, we're going to have to start that over again, y'all, because he went a little bit too fast. Uh, all right now. Here's the problem with America, the country is broken. Because they minds stay closed, but they mouths stay open. Get attacked and we blame terrorists. Go okay. Their minds stay closed, but their mouths stay open. Man, if that ain't the truth. Uh, and I already know, like, some stuff Tom says I don't agree with, but the stuff that I agree with him on, it's so true. Just like that right there, uh, you know, let's go. How can we blame the price, blame racists for the racism, but only if his skin is white, if we don't uh let's uh run that back real quick because i want to make sure i got that right before i repeat it America, the country is broken because they mind stay closed, but they mouth stay open. Get attacked and we blame terrorists go broken we blame the price blame racists for the racism but only if his skin is white if blame racism on races, but only if the skin is white. Uh, yeah, that's 100%. Um, every single race has racist people in it. That's the bottom line. guns because we can call the police we don't need fire extinguishers call the firemen please you didn't want to build a wall and now the border is weak your favorite actor has a gate that's like 15 feet racism is gay if you're offended that's retarded and tolerance is great until you speak and you're a target if a white man paints his face black he's a racist piece of garbage but you put him in a dress and he's courageous and he's gorgeous all these double standards man i'm tired double standards okay um we're going to have to run that back because before I speak on it, I want to try and at least get a pretty good idea of what he's talking about here. Racist piece of garbage, but you put him in a dress and he's courageous and he's gorgeous. All these double racism is gay if you're offended that's retarded and tolerance is great until you speak and you're a target if a white man paints his face black he's a racist piece of garbage, but you put him in a dress and he's courageous and he's gorgeous. All so... If you uh, change your appearance to look a, a different kind of way, then you're wrong, right? That's what he, that's essentially what he's getting at. Yeah, look, even though um, you know there's longer pauses, right, in between. Uh, you know, while I'm kind of uh, uh, really analyzing everything. Um, but, of course, I'm going to cut out all the parts where I'm just sitting here thinking about it, right? Uh, but, after thinking about it for a few minutes, I'm going to say it could be a double standard, but it really depends on the circumstances. Um, here's the thing. Tom McDonald did a song called If I Was Black. And in that song, he kept changing his appearance. Right? He kept, like, uh, photoshopping uh, 
other people's faces on top of his to sort of get you to understand essentially what he's doing, right? He's putting himself uh, in a hypothetical black man's shoes, right? He's saying, if I was black, I might, you know, feel this way about this. I might feel that way about that. He's not saying this is definitely what black people are thinking. This is what black people are going through. No, he's saying, if I was black, I might always be thinking about slavery. I might not want to walk at night. I might. You see what I'm saying? It, it's it's subjective. This is his ideas and thoughts and opinions about what it might be like. Okay, and again, it's not saying this is definitely what it is. This is definitely, it's not. This is one man's point of view, okay? And they all might not even be his points of view. Some of them might be that some black people might feel that way. You know, and that, that's what I think it is. He's collectively speaking from some of his points of view, some of some people that he's talked to maybe from their points of view and he's put it all together and he's talking about it as a whole if you're black you might feel this way you might feel that way you might think about this or that it's it's not a definitive statement it's not that at all what it is is just saying if you don't understand something Talk to that person and try and put yourself in their shoes. At least take the time to try to walk a mile in their shoes and then tell me if your perspective has changed. Because it definitely should. If you can at least listen to someone as they describe to you the types of events and things they've been through. And you at least try to understand what it would be like for that person as they're going through life. Then you can say, uh, you've tried to walk a mile in their shoes. Alright? It's as simple as that. That's all it is. There's no racism about it. There is no, none of that stuff. So I think that might be what he's getting at. Saying that some people say that he's racist because of that. Uh, it's not. It's really not. You know. Do what Tom McDonald is saying right now. You know. Open up your mind and close your mouth and just listen. Listen to people. You can learn so much. Just because you think, well this person's not as smart as I am. Or they only watch a certain type of TV show or whatever else. You can still learn plenty of stuff from them. Uh, Alright, let's keep going. Double standards, man, I'm tired of the noise. Freedom's an illusion if they censor your voice. Call a dad a deadbeat for neglecting his boys. But a mom kills a baby and you call it pro-choice. You act like... Um... All right. Okay. Um, 100%. You know, there is no uh, question about it. That is one thing. You know, even though I lead left, okay, on that issue, I am definitely right wing. All the way. Uh, not all the way. Most of the way. I think it's... Uh, if it's medically necessary. If there is at least... You know... A high likelihood of there being serious problems for either one. That's when they bring... That's when they need to bring in psychologists. They need to bring in doctors. They need to... Let... You know... The doctors and the psychiatrists, let them all speak for both parties. Because there's two lives at stake. 
Not just one, not just the other. There's two different lives, and they both have meaning, they both have purpose. Um, and just because, you know, someone's not ready to be a parent, that is no reason to do that. There is, a, um, there is adoption, okay? You can have the baby, put them up for adoption, and let someone take custody. And then you're done. You have no more responsibility after that. As far as I'm concerned, if you do that, you've done your part. You know, you have given life to something. And you are uh, fulfilling your purpose of bringing that life into the world. Okay. Now, sure, it's a lot better if the the rightful parent takes you know the responsibility but if they can't do that then it's not fair to the baby to have them live in a home that can't really support them and just because a parent isn't able to care for or provide for a baby doesn't mean that baby doesn't have the right to live. Because they do. Alright. They do have the right to live. They have the right to go to a good home. You know. It, it's really bizarre. You know. Uh, but like I said. In cases of. Where there's serious trauma. Where there's. Um, things like that. That's when you bring in psychologists or psychiatrists or whoever you want. But let the doctors, you know, basically work up a plan to care for both parties. Uh, not just one. Definitely not. Like I said, they both have a life. They both have meeting and they both have purpose. That's how I feel about that, y'all. You're so much better than us. Yeah, we know that. Who told you that you so special? To a new world order. Your facts ain't facts without censoring us. Yeah, we know that. Good job, you lose. Here's your medal. To a new world order. Why they hate the flag? They try to burn it to the ground. Don't do that in front of me. I'ma let off a round, pal. Scream. Um, that's, uh, I get what he's saying. I really do. You know, don't disrespect the flag in front of me. All right. But at the same time, you go and shoot someone for doing that. You just committed murder. All right. Uh, I get what he's saying. Don't, don't get it twisted. I, perfectly understand what he's saying however uh you can't go and shoot people just because they've offended you right or because they've uh disrespected the country i understand it totally disrespectful you definitely shouldn't be going around doing that but you also can't go around shooting people either <laughs> all right <laughs> that's how that goes y'all you lose is your medal why they hate the flag they try to burn it to the ground don't do that in front of me i'ma let off a round pow scream loud burn the city down now put it on the news make them all feel proud look make a system where 85 percent of black people fill the prison is it because they black or they make bad decisions i ain't good at math but it seems like it's division or is it white privilege i believe politicians need to be locked up try to take our freedoms that's how you get shot up got our back against the wall try to just stop us more guns more ammunition please stock up election gets rigged rights getting fringed take um yeah this right here is giving me racism vibes you know from that video that he did called racism right um we're gonna run that back you know because i definitely want to make sure that i'm perfectly understand what he's saying right here because i think that's really important 
really good distinction that he's making right here. Um, yeah, let's check this out again, y'all. This one right here uh, is really deep. You Put it on the news, make them all feel proud. Look, make a system where 85% of black people fill the prison. Is it because they black or they make bad decisions? I ain't good at math, but it seems like it's division. Or is it white? I'm not good at math, but it seems like it's division. Um, you know what I think it is? Racial profiling. That's why. Got nothing to do with color. Not a damn thing. Alright? You know, if you go to a ghetto, and then... At that point, you say, well, if you get shot, you're probably going to get shot by a black guy. That's fair enough. There's mostly blacks in ghettos, right? If you go to a trailer park, you better not say you're probably going to get shot by a black guy. That's not a real thing. There's mostly white people in trailer parks. It's the same thing for both. There's no difference. The only difference is... There's projects and there's trailers. That's literally the only difference. Some little bit of difference with the cultures and, and things like that. You know, but other than that, you know, when poverty level goes up, so does the crime rates. They go hand in hand. So don't blame it. If you're looking at ghettos, don't blame it and say, oh, they're doing that because they're black. That's bullshit. 100%. You know, we, this demonizing of entire cultures is really ridiculous. Like, I, I just can't believe that some people has the nerve to suggest that. Um, take a look around. Okay. There's not only black people in prisons. Just so y'all know. Look up uh, the statistics for serial killers. Newsflash. It's not black people. I don't know why. I don't understand it. Mostly serial killers are white guys. Now, you know... And I think, once again, it's just a difference in culture. That's all it is. That's that's the only thing that would make sense to me. You know, there's more, I think, for uh, white people, there's more uh, domestic violence. There's more uh, just all types of bad crap that a lot of us do to our children. Okay? And sometimes I think that tends to uh, create monsters is what it does. That's what would make sense to me there. Okay. So this whole idea of, you know, oh, well, black people are criminals because they're black. No. White people aren't serial killers because they're white. It's about how they were raised. It's how they were brought up. You know, now, sure, mental illness has a part in that, too. Um, and once again, drug use has a big part in that. All kinds of different factors. Okay. Um, not saying one side's good and one side's bad. We're all bad. Every single race and culture has good and bad in it. Equally. And that's the crazy part. You know, but like I said, racial profiling. If a cop sees a white guy walking down the street and a black guy that looks a certain way, he's probably going to stop the black guy. That's just how it is. A lot of them, just like you guys who are out there saying black people are more likely to be criminals. That type of mindset right there is why the cop's going to stop the black guy. It's your mindset. It's that racial profiling bullshit that tells that cop the white guy's good. He's he belongs here. He's not doing anything wrong. 
Let's go stop the black guy. Because it's late at night and he doesn't need to be out here walking at nighttime. That type of mentality right there is bullshit. It really is. You know, we got to start, man, a little bit more common sense for real. This whole thing of trying to blame black people on all this bullshit is ridiculous. It really is. It it makes me so freaking mad. You know, alright, let's keep going. But yes, I do like what he's saying right here. It feels like division, and it is. It is people who are speaking from a place of ignorance. And spreading around this racism bullshit. Privilege. I believe politicians need to be locked up. Try to take our freedoms. That's how you get shot up. Got our back against the wall. Try to just stop us. More guns, more ammunition. Please stock up. Election gets rigged. Rights get infringed. Take this syringe. Frighten you. Yeah. And another point I want to add here. The more... Uh, all this racist bullshit that a lot of you guys are passing around about not even just black people about anybody any type of person you know you're gonna put that entire culture more uh, defensive right they're gonna be even more on guard because now there's so much of that going around you know, that now maybe a black kid walking down the street is going to have that in his mind. You know, well, if a cop sees me, he's probably going to stop me and think I'm doing something wrong. And then it's going to get real ugly. So in order to protect myself, now I got to, you know, carry a gun. But then what happens? Really, what happens? He gets stopped. He gets searched. He's got a gun. Well, guess what? He's a criminal. Of course he has a gun. Ignoring the entire fact that it was for protection, not for because he's a criminal. Not saying that doesn't happen. Of course that happens. Of course there's people who carries weapons because they're criminals. But what I'm saying is not everyone who's carrying a gun is a criminal. Sometimes they might do that just for protection. Just in case someone wants to chase them down thinking that they're taking the law into their own hands, uh, you, you're creating more of a mess. They really are. And it, it needs to stop. It really does. You know? Kids show up right where you live. Make me want to grab a rifle and just go. You act like you're so much better than us. Yeah, we know that. Who told you that you so special? And everyone blames white folks for every little bitty thing We don't have no one to blame, we take responsibility They tell you be a man, then call it toxic masculinity Then when you act too feminine, they call it white fragility I don't understand trans man with humility I'm I never even heard that before, y'all <laughs> Uh Man, this guy is just always learning about different types of just crazy stuff, y'all. Good job, you lose his your medal. And everyone blames white folks for every little bitty thing We don't have no one to blame, we take responsibility They tell you be a man, then call it toxic masculinity Then when you act too feminine, they call it white fragility I don't understand trans man with humility I'm just trying to raise my kid the best of my ability If I disagree, you try to cancel, get rid of me You cancer, you can't be the answer, you killing me And I hate white supremacy just as much as you But I ain't feeling guilty for something I didn't do The system Hey, 100% you know, absolutely. If you didn't do anything wrong, you got nothing to apologize for. That's a fact. 
Every you try to cancel, get rid of me. You cancer, you can't be the answer. You killing me. And I hate white supremacy just as much as you. But I ain't feeling guilty for something I didn't do. The system's killing everyone. It sucks, but it's true. They kill you, then they broadcast it and call it the news. Or they'll brainwash you through social media feeds. And if you disagree, delete you immediately. Make America China pretty easy to see. I will always remember the land of the free. You act like you're so much better than us. Yeah, we know that. Who told you that you so special? To a new world order. Your facts ain't facts without censoring us. Yeah, we know that. Good job, you lose. Here's your medal. To a new world order. Hey, that right there was badass. You know? absolutely loved adam calhoun coming on here and talking about that racist uh you know statistics and all that and says i think it's just division and it is 100 percent uh i don't agree with everything adam calhoun says for sure all right but that right there y'all uh yeah there's a lot of stuff I do agree with him on, and that's one of them. It is division. There is no... Uh, it's, it's all down to do with culture. It's all down to do with upbringing. You know, of course, mental illness goes into it also. You know, but if you've got certain mental illnesses and you've been brought up a certain way, that's what is going to prime you to be a criminal it's not down to color that's the most ridiculous thing i think i've ever heard uh, the idea that you say white people are perfect angels but black people are criminals that is racist okay that's and you don't even realize how bad uh that is to be spreading around because more and more people hear that and then they're going to think it's true it's ridiculous y'all need to realize it's ridiculous and freaking stop it all right so look badass track tom and adam i will see y'all in the next video until then i'm out